Okay guys, this is a special insert to show you the current conditions of the St. Lucia Estuary Mouth. I don't want to be too late, this. I'm too many days behind with the beach walk videos. So we're making this special insert for you. I know this is not what you guys want to hear because what you see is blue water entering the estuary. This is nip tight. And the system is basically in suspension. Look at that easterly sandbank crossing the estuary mouth completely all the way to the north. Mopelan, we will be visiting your shorelines soon again. This nip tight with the current swell and wind direction is going to push that sandbank more to the west. For those that under don't understand where the west is, it's, it's towards us, it's towards the camera, uh, right into the estuary mouth. We can see that's just as far as the tide penetrates into the system, is where the brown water is. What me and Frank is looking at here is all the plankton washing into the system and no mangroves where they could evolve from and no fish swimming past the water is clear 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 it's aquarium clean and we don't see any fish swimming here just an update for the bird watchers I don't see any African skimmers but there is quite a few um, of that red bolt oyster catcher I don't know what that little guy is and my zoom is not powerful enough to pick him up but he's having fun with the oyster catchers now this stuff that we walk on here is very fine rock hard mud now I've been corrected that it's not bentonite but the fabrication and the consistency of it is exactly the same as bentonite it has got the same properties in nature than bentonite so I'm just going to keep uh, calling it bentonite since I've been dubbed bentonite bob a murder of crows flying away now this is exactly where the two energies the outflowing energy from the rivers the inflowing energy from the ocean meets it looks beautiful but it's deceiving as Willy Breed explained it very well to us the one morning where the two energies meet that's where the most sediment is deposited so this is happening right over there right over there this camera's focus is very sensitive but anyway so what I'm saying is that this channel 
is that is a very very light sediment very fine dense sediment coming down with the, from the two rivers and it meets the ocean borne sediment right over here and that hard layer that I talked about a little bit earlier you can see it over there in this video <laughs> yeah anybody in the building industry will understand what I'm trying to say other people will believe that nature takes its course and everything is fine I hope this zoom technique showed you how much the ocean-borne sediment has migrated to the right, to, to the west. I hope that helped. This perspective, I don't know if the guys, people watching this will see how much the sandbank and the whole system has pivoted to the west, to the northwest. I don't know how to portray this on camera so people can understand it. What's here, Pardit? What's here? See for Papa. What's here?
Now the reason for this predicament of the estuary is because there's no tidal energy to help with the scouring, natural scouring effect. Now tidal energy is generated by tidal channels, tidal traps and sediment traps. Maybe I invented the words myself. I don't know. Beautiful but sad. It's beautiful because nature is working. Sad because man could have helped nature to breathe. It's just a beautiful scene, just enjoy it. Uncle Frank keeps on finding the interesting stuff. Krill washing out here at St. Lucia Estrema as we walk past. Beautiful color line here as the water is pushing. I think it's the last one we're going to see for a while. Anyway, let's have a look at the oyster catcher. Nice batch of plankton stuck there with the wind blowing south, tide moving north and the outgoing water from the rivers. Wonder what is gonna breed from that. This is the fine hard stuff that I was telling you about that's going out with the outflowing net outflow of the water, the fine stuff. But we've got something interesting to have a look at here. Girl is still alive. Should scoop it up, take it home, sift it through water and boil it. At least we've got some protein for the day. Just have a look at this sandbank forming from the east. Let's check those oyster catchers. 
beautiful. They're definitely eating the crow. Frank's right. That sandbank over there, and that sandbank over there, they are nearly touching fingers with each other. And the tide is only coming in now. Yeah. So what I'm worried about, concerned about, is those waves washing over the sandbank, pushing the sand into this side. Some serious cowering happening there. And the sand is just washed into and onto that sandbank there. That's growing towards that sandbank over there and we're talking about 20 meters if that much okay now that I've seen digested I've got the angle worked out that I want to show you guys the sandbank and the scouring that's happening right here in front of us more sand gathered oh yeah yeah but it's time it closed up otherwise all this sediment washes into the the estuary and um, there's just not a wall from the public to work with us to get a management plan going so that we can manage the sediment that humans can manage the sediment so better it closes up otherwise where are we going to go with all the sediment that's washing in at the moment oh, some serious carrying up in here all that sand is just washed back into this channel well guys that concludes today's sad video I had to push it into the front so that everybody can see what's happening and um, let me gather some more threats to my pers person because of all the things that I say that's true Somebody's got to do it. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. You can make contributions through PayPal, PietrusVIV at gmail.com or to Telcom Mobile 0813427371. Thank you.